The Duke of Sussex has made no attempt to hide his accelerating hair loss thanks to marital happiness with new wife Meghan, a cosmetic surgeon has claimed. The 34-year-old royal is now losing his hair as quickly as his older brother Prince William, according to Dr. Asim Shamalak, the surgeon, who is based at Crown Clinic in Manchester and specializes in hair transplants, says that men happy in settled relationships make less effort to disguise their hair loss after finding their life partner. Pictures of Harry and Meghan touring Australia last week show a rapid deterioration in Harry's hair, the bald patch which was previously only centered on his crown, now extends to right across the back of his scalp. And Dr. Shamilak, whose clients include Callum Best and Dr. Christian Jessen, has produced an image of how Prince Harry will look at 50 if his current rate of hair loss continues. He said, there has been a significant acceleration of his baldness in the last year and Harry is now losing his hair as rapidly as his brother William. If he does not take action now. He faces suffering from advanced male pattern baldness like his brother in his 40s and beyond. The last year has been a wonderful period of happiness for Harry, culminating in his wedding to Meghan in Windsor in May. While marital happiness does not bring about any hormonal changes which would affect hair loss, research shows that men in settled relationships tend to do less to disguise their baldness. It reflects nature and the need to find a partner. Once that goal is achieved there is slightly less incentive to cover up hair loss. He added, there are simple ways to mask the onset of hair loss in the short term. You can use hair thickeners, which Wayne Rooney has done for years during big games to make his hair look thicker than it really is. You can also give the impression of thicker hair by dyeing it a darker color as David Beckham did recently when he was in Hong Kong. It is to Harry's credit that he has not resorted to either of these measures. He clearly has a wife and Meghan who loves him no matter what the state of his hair. The surgeon believes Harry may have grown his beard to compensate for the hair loss on his scalp. He said, it is very common for men who are thinning on top to grow a beard. It does detract a little for the hair loss in the scalp. Beers are also a sign of virility and men are often reassured by the fact that while they may be losing hair on top, it still grows well in other parts of their body. Dr. Shamalek said the strong royal baldness gene means Harry is shedding hair like his grandfather Prince Philip, father Prince Charles and brother Prince William. While Prince William's hair started beating a hasty retreat in his twenties, his little brother Prince Harry has been more blessed in the follicular area holding on to his locks well into his 30s. But time is nobody's friend, and at 34 years of age, Harry's patch appears to be on the move, outwards. And a leading cosmetic surgeon believes the seemingly sudden hair loss surges down to one person, his wife Meghan Markle. Dr. Asim Shamilak, from Crown Clinic in Manchester, says Harry now appears to be losing hair at a faster rate than William because he's so happy explaining that Harry has probably stopped working so hard to hide his hair woes. Dr. Shamilak, who specializes in hair transplants, has predicted how Prince Harry will look at 50 if his current rate of hair loss continues. If he does not take action now, he faces suffering from advanced male pattern baldness like his brother in his 40s and beyond, he explained. The last year has been a wonderful period of happiness for Harry culminating in his wedding to Meghan in Windsor in May. While marital happiness does not bring about any hormonal changes which would affect hair loss, research shows that men in settled relationships tend to do less to disguise their baldness. It reflects nature and the need to find a partner. Once that goal is achieved there is slightly less incentive to cover up hair loss. Dr. Shamalek believes a strong family baldness gene has caused Harry to lose his hair just like his grandfather Prince Philip father Prince Charles and brother Prince William. And he reckons the Duke of Sussex may have grown his beard to compensate for the hair loss on his scalp. It is very common for men who are thinning on top to grow a beard. It does detract a little for the hair loss in the scalp. Beards are also a sign of virility and men are often reassured by the fact that while they may be losing hair on top, it still grows well in other parts of their body, Dr. Shamalek said. Thankfully. Should Harry decide that he wants to take action then there are ways and means. You can use hair thickeners, which Wayne Rooney has done for years during big games to make his hair look thicker than it really is, says Dr. Shamilak, who did Callum Best's hair transplant. You can also give the impression of thicker hair by dyeing it a darker color, 
as David Beckham did recently when he was in Hong Kong. It is to Harry's credit that he has not resorted to either of these measures. He clearly has a wife and Meghan who loves him no matter what the state of his hair. However, there's only one long-term solution to hair loss, says Dr. Shamilak and that's to undergo a full hair transplant. He could fully restore his crown with Enfue, follicular unit transplantation, procedure like Wayne Rooney or Callum Best where hair is removed from the back and sides of the scalp and replanted in the balding area, he continues. Prince Harry could also tackle his hair loss by taking a hair loss drug such as Propecia, which slows down hair loss but doesn't lead to the growth of new hair. One side effect of the drug seen in about 2% patients is a loss of libido, which can put some off. Dr. Shamalek's celebrity clients include Callum Best, TV Dr. Christian Jessen and Holmes under the Hammer presenter Martin Roberts. He has seen a 25% rise in bookings at Crown Clinic thanks to the Rooney effect, with increasing numbers of young men following the lead of the former England captain and having a hair transplant.